Welcome back everyone, I'm Rajneesh Gupta and I welcome all of you for this 90 days security challenge program. All right, so I hope you have been following me throughout this challenge. And um, now what are we going to do is we are going to talk about security controls. So before we do that, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. And this is definitely going to boost me to make more such videos. All right, so let's get started. First thing is, we'll understand about what exactly security controls are. So you see security controls are any kind of a solution, any product, any cyber security solution or secure physical security solution that mitigate the threat, right? So this is what it is. It is responsible for mitigating the threats. Now, threats could be of any type, right? So, for every kind of a, every different kind of threats, you need a different kind of security controls to mitigate that, right? So, it could be if you you identified a machine with the malware, or you might have you know you might have got the uh, idea that this machine might be impacted, might get impacted in the future with the malware as well, and that seems to be a high risk then you would go for installing anti-malware software, maybe a firewall for the network infrastructure, maybe DDoS protection solution, maybe web filtering solutions as well. Next, if you see the implementation varies, if you, if you finalize maybe a solution from Cisco, maybe it's Symantec, which is currently Broadcom, if you go for McAfee solutions, or maybe CrowdStrike for endpoint security solutions, maybe any, any, you know, uh, any kind of a security solution or physical security solution either you might have decided okay i want to protect my des desktop computer but based on the vendor as well the implementation of that that uh, hardware or the software varies so that is also you need to keep that into account right third is you need to remember there are different kind of a controls present it could be administrative control it can be in operation control and the technical control as well right so operation control are also considered to be into the physical control okay so let's talk ahead and uh, get more understanding about it um, so so next thing is we will start with the physical control first now what are physical control is basically the one yeah so the physical control are the one which prevent or detect any unauthorized access to the physical area that could include a lot of variety of controls like fences it could be gates guards security badges access card biometric access access card as well or access control security lightning uh, cctv surveillance system as well so this all comes under the under the physical controls next we have the technical controls now this can include a hardware or a software system mechanism to use to protect your assets maybe desktop maybe servers maybe your web application so you might be using antivirus system fire firewalls or maybe intrusion detection system ids solution or intrusion prevention system which is the ips solution you can also go for uh, you know, uh, configuration uh, related stuff as well, maybe uh, securing the layer 2 or, uh, on on the switches or securing your router, securing your web application. So, you know, there, there are a variety of uh, solutions available for securing the data. You can go for data loss, data loss prevention software from companies like Broadcom, uh, Forcepoint, so McCafe. These are the major players. In fact, uh, you can also go for data encryption software, which is again for securing your data, right? Next, we have the administrative control. Now, see, this refers to policies. This, this is not really a kind of a product that you can buy and, you know, start deploying. It is more of about, you know, a kind of a procedure, guidelines, policy. This is usually derived from top level management okay so it's a part of entire governance policy making bodies as well who work on the policies procedures guideline that has to be implemented from the top till the bottom right so that defines the personal or business practices in accordance with the organization security goal now it could be very simple as simple as you know um, uh, the uh, maybe security team decide to discard or stop using six digit password and start using 12 digit password right 12 character password so this is a kind of a policy and that has to be a procedure 
a procedure will be having you know who should use it how how exactly they should reset the password and everything and the guideline will be mentioned as if uh, if it is a 12 character password so how many of them should be alphanumeric uh, you know the there has to be one capital letter as well so accordingly the, the guideline will be given to the each and every employees as well into the organization this could also be about the employee hiring or termination procedure equipment or internet usage as well physical access to the facility as well separation of duties too so one person you know how we want one person to access the another uh, you know access or a duty of the another team as well so there has to be a proper separation of duty and data classification for which they are usually the organization depends on uh, you know products so this could be bolden james uh, titus kind of a tools as well and of course the auditing now auditing is a process where you usually happen internal auditing where the organization ensure uh, you know where internally it's a practice where the organization make sure if they have the proper controls and if they do have then are they really effective so these this is the two point for security audit do we have the control if yes then are they effective all right so this is the way organization perform the auditing right i hope this was clear for you we'll catch you in the next video thank you